Hello, so I added some uh, features to the deck of cards and I added a uh, planner and um, I added a records log. Um, so what I added to the uh, deck of cards was um, it, 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 it reads the records log to see where it is. Uh, it determines what file it's going to load, which determines a... Um, it's a list of games in which player one will win every time. It's the absolute going to win. It's either four aces or roll flush. And it's predetermined. Uh, you can change it by changing the file, you know, what, what's in the uh, a file uh, or in the program because it's, it's set in the program. Um, but it, it, you can you could play up to 100,000 games before we start in software and uh, it's a predetermined set of winners, but each time it loads, it'll select a different file to use uh, predetermined settings. And I'll show you that, but um, and it's not good to do. It's just, it gives me something to do. It gives me something to do. So here, here's the records log. And based off this records log, um, I can see that uh, I stopped on number 26 so 27 will be the next start of, of, of the actual software. So anytime the software restarts, it's going to load a different set. It'll have up to six different sets it can use. It, you can make more, but it has up to six different ones that you can use. And it loads a different one, you know, almost every time. Almost every time. Um, and it's not, you know, this one and this one. It, 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 it determines it based on mass, so it's, you can't tell. You you don't know unless you look at the scheduler, and, and the way that is determined is uh, this is just a picture of the scheduler. It's just a small picture uh, that I took when I ran it earlier. Um, so twenty seven will be the next event, which is right here. So the one that'll be loaded is uh, schedule one, which is right here. So game two, game four, game eight, game ten, uh, player one will win. It's predetermined. It, it's either going to be a full uh, royal flush. Or it's going to be um, four races, and then after I stop that one, then it's going to go to uh, if I stop the uh, software, then restart the software, then it'll be on twenty eight, and on twenty eight it'll load uh, schedule two, which is this one. And see, you can see it just ran, it selects a different schedule, but there's no, it, it's hard to determine which one's going to be scheduled and where you are unless you know when someone reset it. But it, it'll load a different one each time that it, it, it basically every time it restarts. Anyway, so what I'm saying is when this one starts on 20, the, when I reset, when I start the software, game two, game four, game eight, and game 10 will win. Will get guaranteed win. Uh, so I'll go ahead and start it. And uh, it's right here. And like I said, it was game. We'll open it up here again. Make sure two, four, eight, and ten. So we'll start it. Oh, got to start the software. And what you're going to see is this file load. It changes right here. So now you know it's on 27, which is like I said on this picture is 27. So schedule one, two, four, eight, and ten. Two, four, eight, and ten. So there's first game. Here's the second game. This is a winner. Guaranteed roll flush. Uh, third game. Then fourth game. It's a guaranteed winner. Another roll flush. Two, and uh, there's five, six, seven. And then eight should be another guaranteed winner. You can see over here. And there's a there's a guaranteed win. So there's another row flush. Um, so so that's one. Now what I'm going to do is restart and show you the the next one is going to be uh, you know it's, right now it's on 27. It's going to restart. It's going to be 28. And that's just by like you'd power the, the computer down to restart, or maybe just close program and you come back later restart it. Now it's on 28. You see it's update here. And now it's going to be a different set, schedule two. Now game one and game eight 
are the winner. So game one will be here. And this time it's four aces. And several flush. And then it'll go all the way to game eight before it's another winner. And here comes game eight. Game eight right here. And it's a winner. Another uh, roll flush. So that seems to work. Now I'm going to show you, um, you know, I, I showed you, you know, how this works with uh, the planner. But you just haven't seen the planner yet. And you haven't seen how this works yet. So I'll show you how this works. And it's actually pretty neat. Uh, I mean, I just did it for fun. Uh, anyway, there's a records log. It reads the records log. It finds out, you know, what event it started on, you know, because basically the records log is only a time and date stamp. That's all it is. There's nothing else in here. There's a time and date stamp. So it reads how many, you know, logs I have. And that's what determines which file I load right here. It's just a bunch of preset of winners. You can see this one goes up to 100,000. So you can play 100,000 times and you only have, you know, that many guaranteed wins. So... I mean, it's, it's just something I threw together just, just for fun. Um, I mean, now I'll go ahead and show you the uh, other, the planner, planner tool. I think it's over here. Yeah, it's right here, planning tool. So the planning tool, all this is, it just, uh, it also reads this file, this log file, but uh, it doesn't write. It doesn't do any writing or anything. It just reads the log file to find out where it's at. And you'll see, like right now, it says uh, 28. I'll move this out of the way. It says uh, 28 is the last one. So when I do this, I'll start this. And just by starting it, it reads it. It's 28. That's the current payout schedule is 28. And it says uh, 2. The schedule is 2. So look at it. And like I said, game 1 and game 8 1. When I restart, it tells me 29 is going to be the next one. And, and it will be. But it tells me what schedule it is. 2, 4, 8, 10, 15. Like that. It even has the old schedule for 27. 27 but that tells me the future of what's going to be on the next time I start up and that tells you what it's going to be on the, this time I start up so I only have you know that many wins all the way up to you know five game 5004 uh in the schedule you can you can this is the status you can look at the schedule and the schedule is over here and uh this one I mean I can go up to uh I'll just do 10 first just so you can see it, it work so here's just 10 so power up one through 10 these are already in the past. We're already up into, you know, 28. So now I'll go up to 30. And you'll see that it, it, it reads the same numbers that we had before. So now we're down to 30 right here. And that's the next one. So 28 is where we are. This It's 2, which is this one. We just ran that one. Uh, it shows you 27 was 1, which was this one. But you can see, you can see that it's a different setting each time. A different set of settings each time and it's not one two three it's one five one zero three zero four two one it just keeps changing and uh and since there's nine hundred ninety four thousand two hundred and two well let's just type in one hundred thousand and we can you know pull the whole list all the way down to you know one hundred thousand and you know it tells you you know this set will be loaded Right here, this set will be loaded. We get to uh, 100,000 power ups. 100,000 power ups. So it just keeps going. I, I mean, you can probably get as far as you want. But anyway, I just thought I'd show that to you. Um, the, the, like the, like I said, this one, it, it all it does is just you know, it does the same math. It's the same same math. And, you know, it reads this, finds out which one it is, and then it, you know, do, it, it tells me which one is going to be the current, the previous, and the next. And, you know, there's multiple things in here that it goes through. But uh, anyway, I did that for fun. Uh, it's a predetermined winners.